What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video and this week we went to the Komodo Islands. In every season I go stand by you. What are we looking for? Let me search now. Take your shoes off. Put your purse down. How you gonna tell me that it's never gonna work now? Type of shit to make me put a verse down. Worse now, can we make What is going on guys? This week we are at the Komodo Islands and I completely forgot to shoot an intro because we're already here for one day, one full day. This is the second day and at the moment we are at, how is it called? Padar Island. Padar Island. And yeah, we are here with a couple of friends and it's just a week off and this, I think this is the first time in, I don't know, many years that I really have four days completely off and yeah, we're just going to enjoy ourselves and taking you with me. Back, you know, lately I've had some busy ones. I've been getting this money. Uh, so dumb. Where are we going right now? Going to the beach. Which beach? Pink beach. But how pink is it really? Let's see how pink That's the pink beach really is. We're gonna do a pink measurement. Yeah. Let's measure the pink. And let's see. Pink check. Pink. Seeking and hiding. Nowhere to find me. Just arrived at how is the island called? Uh, Komodo National Park. Is this the Komodo Village? Komodo Village. And we are going to see the Komodo Dragons. Our tour guide for our trekking for today. Uh, my name is uh, Kinan. You can call me Brian, and my partner Haji. <laughs> So we just went to Komodo National Park to the Komodo Dragons. It's so crazy to see how people live here. It's so primitive. Yeah, very primitive. Yeah, so they don't have anything and they just living with goats and chicken under their houses and it's I don't know, it's crazy to see. And it puts things in perspective, I think. It's because we are so privileged that we live in a country where we can get everything. And these people just don't have anything. So and they are very happy. And they are very happy, yeah. So it's crazy that so many people in the Netherlands aren't happy and are depressed. And if you see people here, they're just happy. Yeah, they don't have the difference of seeing other people just doing crazy shit. Yeah, this is what they know. Yeah, you just look at yourself or your neighbor, and your neighbor is the same as you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And we always compare, always compare to what someone else has. And then you want more and more and more and more and more, and you're never happy with what you have. Yeah. And they just have everything well, they need. I just said it a while ago, like, there are also some people that just like to go surfing or whatever. They work two hours a day, and then they just surf all day, and then that's their happiness. But there are very few people that have that. Most people just want more, more money. bigger, better. True. But imagine just being one of the servers and just being fine with serving every day. How much rest that would give you? Mental, mental yeah. rest. We, we want all the luxuries and all the beautiful things in life. But maybe that's not the beautiful beauty in life. 
so we just arrived at the new location it's called Pirate Island and this is it so we are going to spend the next two nights here and this was the boat we stayed on last night Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. The best cocktail in the world. Thank you. Can you explain what it is? So it's a caipirinha. It actually has two things in it: lime and what is the what is the liquor called inside of this? Uh, oh, what one? White rum? Yeah. White rum. Mm. But yeah, it, it has a it has a specific name in Brazil. Yeah, not not rum, but uh, the taste similar to white rum. rum. Cassaça. Ah. Yeah. It's a. Can what is, Can we see Cassassa? the bottle? Oh, yeah, Cassassa. Cassassa. Uh, So when we lived in Portugal, we um, our chef he always ma made this. So when we had a party, he made this big bucket with only ca only caipirinha. <laughs> Can you imagine how many limes you need for? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right, so, cheers. Cheers. Damn. Look at this view. So we went to the Komodo Islands, and now we are at Pirate Island. And then you sleep in this. It's crazy because we're always so busy, busy, busy. And now we're here and it's so calm. So this is actually the first time in, I don't know, four years to really get the rest. And yeah, it really feels good. Feels good. Dog is on probation. Another five years. We bring girls to his location. No time, no. Look, Playboy, I don't need a carty. I'm captain, I lead the army. Bad ratio, I leave the party. Free Somalis, creeping on me. Your ex wavy, we tsunami. Girl from India, sweetest nani. Head so good now, speak the draw. You pardon me, pardon me, I'm laughing again. So what we did today is so fucking cool. We came here, I mean, um, you can see it here as well. The coral is fucking beautiful, it's insane. And at the coastline, you have these baby sharks. So we swim with baby sharks and with turtles. big turtles. And just this close, this close to you. And I don't know, it's, it's fucking crazy to me. Like, we sleep. 10 meters from the beach and you walk 10 meters and this morning it was 7 30 we put the goggles on and we just went into the water swimming with baby sharks with the turtles yeah man it's life it's amazing so last week i posted a posted a reel on my story it was with a podcast of tristan and i said i had a beautiful car i had a office and i had a good salary and everything but something i didn't have was this just be able to go to any place you want and now we are on a fucking private island enjoying with with a good group of people with friends and i don't know it's just a just a feeling of gratitude that i can do anything that i can go anywhere and that i have a business and with a team i can count on and yeah man it's i don't know i'm so happy that i can do this and that i built this life for myself and what i want to do with this video is i don't want to brag and show you like oh, i'm here on this island I honestly want to inspire you because I know everyone can do it but you just have to set a goal, take action, get in the momentum and just do it. Just do it, create that life you want for yourself and I don't know, you would be surprised what you can achieve in one, two, three years maybe but don't expect you can get everything in one month. So start doing something, be consistent and maybe on one day you can enjoy on this private island as well. Then I'll be right there. To make I come check you my babe. No time, no. And my dog is on probation. Another five years. 
girls. And bring girls to his little kids. Thank you. Bye bye. And I could pull a couple grand on my pocket right now. Yeah, I'm so fly, yeah, I'm flying in the rocket right now.